Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam. How are you all? Okay, before starting our lesson, uh, let me greet you with a smart school greetings. Generasi smart school berkarakter cerdas ki. Hello, it's a good time to meet you again uh, in this in our lovely class. Let me introduce myself. I am Mr. Yulius Romapatandian, English teacher from SMA Raja. And it's better you call me Mr. Roma or Mr. Yulius just Mr. Roma. Okay, uh, our topic uh, for this session is about if clause. If clause. And then uh, we have uh, two main contents here, but next I will show you uh, the the two main contents. Okay, well, well, before starting a warming up, so in thirty minutes you are going to find five vocabularies based on this clue of this pattern. In thirty seconds, on your note. Then you learn, uh, next you discuss with your uh, mates on your desk. Okay, so uh, in this warming up, uh, you may have a word like back. It's true, or may you find a word back and so on. Our learning goals for this season is we have to first practice a few examples of additional interactions. So remember conditional interactions followed by suggestions and also comments. And the second one using conditional expressions also followed by suggestion and comments. Okay, that's both of our learning goals. So first we need to comprehend the meaning of a clause. A clause is a group contains a subject and a predicate. Clause. clause of a subject and a predicate. For example, I stand, you stand, you stand, we learn, and while a clause consists of two types: first, independent clause, and also dependent clause. Independent means it alone as a sentence while dependent clause should be connected to the other main sentence in order to have a meaning. Okay. Here is an example. He thinks and in this, in this, uh, he in this first word of this main clause uh, function as a subject while as a predicate and means we use verb remember use verb one or infinitive next for the independent clause if he thinks subject he here also function as a subject and the things also function as a predicate or a verb but remember if here indicate this dependent dependent clause this clause can stand alone as meaningful sentence that difference between dependent and independent
our main topic we're going to uh, talk about if clause followed first by suggestion suggestion in Indonesia we get we uh, translate as saran. Okay. I give simple uh, explanation a simple example look at it I have a new smartphone to attend smart school I will give you some we can say you should buy a handphone or smartphone or buy it you should or uh, you should then steal it or oh, never steal a uh, 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 smartphone and then you need to buy it. and maybe let's buy it you buy it and these are some expressions to express suggestion and then the second part followed by imperative or call comment or imperative as perintah and there are two main comment in english first positive comment always begin with a verb Sit. Hey, yeah, that's positive comment. And then we combine the if clause. If you want to taste the one, jump. That's the combination. If you want join a smart school, buy. That's comment, positive comment. And the second is negative comment. Negative comment has a main characteristic, always begins with don't. Phone, kiss me, don't like it. Don't me and so on. Look at the example. If don't, if don't. That's the negative comment com combined with if plus. Now, let's analyze these two sentences. We have an if clause. If you want to enjoy it, use all-in-one PC. All in one, if you want to enjoy your work. And we can also use suggestion because the first one is imperative imperative while the second one we can use as a suggestion look uh, material before how to give a suggestion in the if present Okay, clear. Here is your exercise. So, a simple brochure about a tourism site. And in this brochure, we have uh, some sentence that uh, contains of the combination of if clause followed by suggestion and maybe also an imperative or a comment. I give you an example. I have Raja, and then we have if clause sentence here, and then here's the negative imperative as uh, the completion of this sentence, and then we also have a suggestion here, and then if the other is paragraphs in three minutes it's a note, simple note on your uh, notebook you will discuss with your home okay well next okay the my the main exercises for you all 
look at this picture seriously but never imagine you will go to have a pre-wedding here just imagine the picture and then write and if clause sentence followed by suggestion and comment based on the information you can get through the picture in five minutes five minutes you should uh, complete these exercises okay for more information about and also the exercises about our topic uh, decision you can scan the barcode you can find the link to learn more about this topic and so that's an our material for this session it's a great time to see you all always think smart thank you okay that's an our uh, material for this session thank you for attention uh, always think smart See you. Bye.